you can do exactly the same exercise with the second equation and the third equation. You can set it up as an appended system. You can transform it into row echelon form. You can then identify the free variable and the two de dependent variables. You can then again say, well, look, I know what a specific solution is because it's the point that satisfies all three equations, so I'm not going to bother with that. I can then find a vector that maps to zero, that we call a vector in the null space, by setting the free variable to one and solving for the other two variables. That gives us this right here. And then I have this vector that maps to zero, and therefore any multiple of that vector maps to zero. And that then helps me define a line where the, uh, let's see, the blue and the green plane intersect. Now things are starting to look like we can actually visualize a little better. We just have one line left to go, the one that where the blue and the red plane intersect.